one year or two years, uh, a decision is taken, how much money they should get, etc, etc, etc. For an upward revision? Yeah, yeah. So, if, in my opinion only, I said no, that's not good enough, I should pay them more. Then I'll upset the whole group, Apple cart, our yes. group that we cannot do. I but it's all. Uh, so what you're saying is that you are also bound by those companies that feel that you know there cannot be a drastic uh, upward revision mm -hmm. in the wages of tea labor class. Whereas personally, you would have liked to pay them better, but you can't upset the apple cart. I cannot. I I, I said I I can do it myself, and live up another two hundred people. They would not like it. Actually. So most of the tea workers have migrated from states like Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and they have been living in Assam for ages. They're working in these tea estates. They are the ones who are growing the tea for us. But they now feel that they are being deprived, suppressed, marginalized, and oppressed under successive governments. They also feel that they have not got the ST status. Mm -hmm. Do you think their demand for an ST status is genuine? Well, people are talking about it, to be very frank. And if it, it, if it has to be done, I'm, 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 I'm quite happy about it. But this about these um, people going away to Jharkhand and all that, that's a different matter altogether. All those people had worked in various places. Then they get old. Then they want to go home, actually. Because... Uh, what will they do now? They cannot. They are not capable of working, and so they want to go home. They had a home and all that. It has been written in, uh, in these papers that, that this has happened and this, this particular thing. I, I suppose and personally think that is not the correct way of saying that. Right. So the time that you entered and made your mark in the tea industry, tea industry was at its peak, what as it height. Uh, but now we find that there is a certain uh, degree of decline in the tea industry in terms of profitability. What is the exact status of the tea industry right now in terms of exports, in no, terms that, of that is production? That's absolutely, that absolutely incorrect. Uh, the tea is making more money and year after year, each year, for example, in this year, uh, the amount of profit that I have received, next year it is going up more. And that money is not only in my pocket, it's also going to the workers and all that. We give them uh, extra money there. Bonus. So the, you, you are saying that the health of the tea industry is improving every year. Yes. It is not in the decline. Uh, no, not at all. It is going up. What is declining? People who have not been able to um, run the gardens properly. And most of these people, I'm telling you about the Assembly's people, my friends, they, they, they have to sell it. They sell, sell the thing and somebody else buys them actually. And then they run it. So, uh, how many of the original uh, Assamese families who were tea planters, their sole business was tea plantations, how many of them have survived these ups and downs in the industry? Well, I'm sorry to say that most of the Assamese people, um, and the Assamese people, like sleeping, eating, drinking. As a result, <laughs> the tea gardens go down. All those tea gardens were beautifully done by their parents or their el elders. And the Assamese people, some or other, they loved their children so much, not the girls, the boys. And, and they are completely, in my opinion, uh, they have ruined them. Ruined them this point. And, this, some and of these many, boys of, many of them were forced to sell them uh, to bigger companies outside. Many no, of the they, are not, they are not forced. Why should they be forced? I mean, no, if, forced if they run it properly, they, 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 they are. Exactly. I mean, that's the point I'm making. Mm -hmm. Forced by virtue of the fact that they couldn't run them efficiently. Yeah, they cannot run them. They bought these gardens from their fathers or all that, or they had the gardens. So many of, many of those who actually got these as a gift from their parents, and they were second generation tea planters or third generation tea planters, couldn't cope up... Uh, with the efficiency that the industry required. And so they had to sell their gardens is what you're it's saying. It's not a matter of not being able to cope up and all that. They just don't, <laughs> they just don't do, do their work. That's 